Meet the first great tank, the tiny but amazing Renault FT-17. Though more than a century old, this incredibly innovative design is a true father of the modern tank. And so today we'll be taking a look at it here on the Ulysses Files. The Renault FT, often simply referred to as the FT-17, was a groundbreaking tank design which entered service in 1918. A French light tank, the FT was the first one to incorporate many design aspects which are now considered standard, such as a fully rotating turret and rear engine compartment. Small by World War I standards, the FT was intended to swarm through the enemy's lines and overwhelm defenders. Used by French and American forces on the Western Front, the design was produced in large numbers and retained by many nations until the early days of World War II. Beginnings Tanks play a fundamental role in modern warfare. However, it wasn't always that way. A century ago, cavalry formations that used horses were still an important component of land campaigns, whilst motor vehicles were just beginning to enter the battlefield. To understand the genesis of the tank's key role in the conflicts of the past century, we must go back to May 1918, when France's Renault FT tank first rolled into battle. The FT has been called the world's first modern tank. Much of it was designed by Louis Renault, founder of the French automaker that still exists today. French General Jean-Baptiste Eugène Estienne, considered to be the father of French tanks, asked Renault to build a tank that was lighter and more mobile than the models already in service, which were cumbersome and slow. Renault, though he had no experience with tracked vehicles, took up the challenge and ended up pioneering a century of armoured vehicle development. As a cheap, lightweight and reasonably nimble tank, the FT was designed to overwhelm the enemy through sheer numbers. puny and insignificant. In comparison to the armoured vehicles driving around today's battlefields, the FT looks rather puny and insignificant. However, a century ago it was groundbreaking. The 4.5 litre four-cylinder Renault engine generated 39 horsepower, laughable in 2024, but a significant improvement over the single horsepower an actual horse could provide. It was started with either an external or internal hand crank and could travel around 30 miles on a 25-gallon fuel tank. The FT had two tracked drive wheels to move over rough terrain. A rotating turret was armed with either a 37mm gun or a Hotchkiss 8mm machine gun. Enormous Potential Germany was on its last legs when the Renault FT entered service and it's possible that its impact was thus mostly psychological. The mere appearance of tanks this late in the war would often lead to the surrender of demoralised German troops. Regardless, the Renault FT, along with other tank designs such as the British Mark 1-5 series and the Mark A Whippet showed the enormous potential of armoured vehicles on the battlefield. Design Ethos The lightweight two-man FT was able to swarm the enemy in force, repelling their fire and drawing attention away from regular troops who were able to advance in its shadow. It eliminated the need to use horses to pull large guns that could fire at entrenched positions like hillside pillboxes and was much more agile than its heavier contemporaries. In the era of trench warfare, the FT naturally had a rounded tail that allowed it to cross ditches without falling in. The general layout of the tank, with its engine in the back and driver in the front, is still used by modern tanks today. The 7 ton FT first engaged the enemy in May 1918 using both turret types, gun and machine gun. It proved to be highly capable when used in large numbers thanks to its light weight and mobility. Unlike larger armoured vehicles, it could navigate forests and other tricky landscapes, though it was limited to 4 to 5 miles per hour. It was vulnerable to heavy weapons, particularly if it was separated from its infantry and communication from the FT to other units like artillery could be nearly impossible. 
The FT was originally designed to go into battle with two larger French tanks, the Schneider CA-1 and the saint Chamond. It was expected to accompany and protect infantry, as well as exploit breakthroughs made by its bigger brothers. One version of the tank carried radios to forward positions to allow the French to take quicker advantage of emerging opportunities. However, both the larger tanks were not successful in the conditions of the Western Front as they were unreliable and seemed to get stuck very easily, and so the actual employment of the FT-17 didn't quite go as planned. France ordered 3,530 units, with production later increased and almost a thousand American licensed versions were built, though none of these saw combat as the war had ended by the time they were ready. The French loaned 144 FT tanks to the Americans and Captain George S. Patton, who was destined for greater fame in a later conflict, commanded one in battle. Baptism of Fire the Renault FT's battlefield debut occurred on 31 May 1918 during the Third Battle of the N. This engagement with 30 tanks successfully broke up a German advance. It went on to take part in various engagements with great success during the Hundred Days Offensive by both French and American forces. After the defeat of Germany in 1918, France had many Renault FTs to spare, and so lots of these surplus tanks were sold on to different countries. The FT was fielded by certain states as late as World War II, though by then they were quite obsolete. Still. Despite this, some were used in several conflicts with varying degrees of success. For example, both sides used it in the Spanish Civil War. Legacy So then, as stated in the intro to this video, the FT was perhaps the most revolutionary and influential tank design in history. To sum up, it was the first production tank to have its armament within a fully rotating turret whilst its configuration of crew compartment at the front, engine compartment at the back and main armament in a revolving turret became and remains the standard tank layout. It seems fair to say that the Renault FT-17 was the world's first modern tank. Though thousands of FTs were built, as well as copies like the American M1917, less than 50 survived today, including one. Five of Hearts at the Fort George G. Meade Museum in Maryland, USA, and another at the Tank Museum in Dorset, UK. We hope that you enjoyed this production about the revolutionary Renault FT-17 tank. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did. See you next time.